Every Wednesday on LinkedIn, I speak to people that are helping accountants and bookkeepers. Now, this guy is really helping accountants and bookkeepers because James Webb works for Pulse. And Pulse is a brand new bit of software that is free. Yeah, you heard that right. Free software to help accountants and bookkeepers. And it's not just helping them, it's helping their clients as well. And we're talking about making sure that you get a good handle on your numbers. What do your numbers mean? Are you doing the right thing? And so even if you're a small business owner, you can benefit from this free software too. What's the catch? Listen in to find out more. So without any further ado, here's James Webb from Pulse. Good afternoon and welcome. Hello, James Webb. How are you, sir? Very well. Thank you, Ashley. Very good indeed. And thanks for having us. I know. Thanks for coming along. I, I love I love doing these shows because it it gives me an opportunity to um, speak to people, find out a little bit more, and see how you guys are, are helping our accountants and bookkeepers. So yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. If anyone's got any questions, please pop them in the chat, and we'll uh, we'll ask answer, answer all of those questions. So James, come on, tell us a little bit about you and and uh, Pulse and everything else. What, what's going on in the world? Yes. So, uh, th- as again, thanks for having us and welcome uh, everybody that's uh, delightfully tuned in for us this afternoon. So my name's James Webb. I'm the partnerships manager here at a company called Pulse. Uh, Pulse is part of a another company called Nucleus, who are a commercial lender. Um, the long and short is Pulse was released to the market about a year ago as uh, an insight tool to help accountants and bookkeepers Uh, really understand how their businesses are performing, but also give the business owner their insights and trends into some uh, really key areas. Um, As of today, we've got just over 3,000 businesses joined. We've sent 22,000 insights out. We've just won our first national award. We're attending the ICB Summit next week, or two weeks' time. So loads and loads of positive things. So it's a delight to be on here and talk about it and share some of those success stories. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I need to find out a little bit more about this stuff. So Ali is uh, watching today. Hi, Ali. Thank you uh, for popping on and saying hello. If you've got any questions, then fire away. Um, so this 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 pulse, right? Um, you're speaking to accountants and bookkeepers and helping them, but I could also have pulse for my business. Yeah, absolutely. What what we typically find are accountants and bookkeepers love the idea of pulse, so they get it themselves for their own practice and they get their report understand how it works, see the trends, see the data. And then they start to think, I think that would work really well for that customer or that customer. And they then just start to add customers uh, either when they're doing their reviews or uh, they've got a reason to talk to them about something. Gradually, then they reach a point and think, you know, great. I think all of my clients could benefit from this. And it's a service that I want to provide to all of my clients. So you can bulk upload as many customers as you want onto the Pulse portal. Um, and again, like we said earlier, it just kind of gives you that one platform view of lots of different things that will be helpful for you. This is incredible. So uh, I'm going to take a few steps back here just so my little brain can understand it. Years ago then, when I was running my practice and we had something like Sage Line 50 or ledgers and stuff like that, um, I couldn't, I'd have to stop and have a good old look at something and see how my client was getting on. Now with online banking and and open banking and cloud accounting, I can go into the the client's um, online uh, bookkeeping and sort of like, all right, here we go. What you're doing now is grabbing hold of all of that, aggregating it all in one place. So I can see um, my clients that are flying and my clients that are struggling and everyone in between because I've got them all on. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. So Pulse, wow. it, it, it integrates with many of the leading platforms, Zero, Sage, QuickBooks, etc. But yeah, you, you're right. And, and because our report is automated, so no matter what happens, you get your report every single month. There's no need to go in, apply filters, export the data. Every single month you get your report. And, and that's the consistency that we're trying to provide this data with. Okay. So for me to sign up um, as my own little business, because I, yeah. I actually use Zero here, um, I, how, how much would that cost me a month to have your software? So it, even better, Pulse doesn't cost a thing for any clients or any business to use. Pulse is completely free. That's awesome. Okay. And then if I was an accountant and I had 100 clients, is that 100 times nothing or did you, are you going to charge me? 
100 times nothing. We we can get you actually signed up within a matter of two minutes and we can add your clients, each one, very, very quickly as well. So the whole process, really quick, really simple and free. Right, okay. Here's the cynic in me now then, James. <laughs> You don't do this for the goodness of your heart. <laughs> how, how come you guys make money? Well, uh, as you mentioned earlier, Pulse is linked to Nucleus, who are a commercial lender. Now, they were formed in 2011. We've lent about three billion to SMEs across the UK and continue to do so. We know it's a really difficult time for businesses out there at the moment, really, no matter what industry. And, and therefore, Pulse was aimed at supporting these businesses. So, what will happen probably in the next six months, we hope, is we'll integrate pre-approved business lending into Pulse. So all of the businesses that are in there will have the data and, and therefore quick and simply will be able to lend to businesses. And that helps us in twofold, really. One is the more data we've got, the better lending we can do. But secondly, is it just helps us to understand the market industries a bit more where we can then start to support those where needed. No, fantastic. Because because the banks are, are are not being as helpful as they used to be. They're, they're they're getting rid of all of their local banking managers or business banking managers and stuff like that. So um, you're filling a gap there that's 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 really needed, aren't you? Yeah, and we know time is precious for people, and and what we're trying to do is to make this process as quick and as simple as seamless as possible. So rather than you know trying to go to five different places to get the data that you need, you can come to one central point. So yes, there's those challenges, but also quick, simple, seamless lending. And because you're monitoring, monitor, I can't even say the word today. What's wrong with my mouth today? Because you are monitoring the all the data you're seeing trends and therefore i don't have to go through any lengthy process to to get get a, a you know a loan approved in principle or anything because you're already looking at it and seeing that yeah, this money's coming in this money's going in there's a little bit going out here and, and you know exactly what's going on correct yeah and, and what we also hope is if businesses don't um qualify let's say for the pre-approved lending that the pulse insights will show these areas where they could talk to their accountant or bookkeeper and start to apply some focus or concentrate or the advisory service kicks in uh, and they're supporting the business to grow in order to get to that point and, and the other thing that, that that i can see here is if i'm running an accountancy practice i'm getting to see a load of data on my clients i can really use this as a as a tool to to do a bit more advice work rather than just that compliance stuff that I get fed up with. Yeah, absolutely. We we have one accountant who, who diarises a call every month with all of his Pulse customers. And, and every time the insight lands, he says, I've got it, you've got it, let's have a chat. And they just talk through it all for 10 minutes. If anything comes out, great, let's go and explore it a bit further. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. Loads of reasons to make contact, talk and support businesses ongoing. So that, that accountant that switched on, uh, they are phoning their clients every single month. Those clients aren't going to leave, are they? No. Those clients not. must absolutely love that accountant. If anything, they'll bring people with them. So they'll be definitely yeah. advocates of the service. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and all for a few phone calls. Absolutely. And for no genius. cost. Yeah, no, absolutely <laughs> genius. Absolutely genius. So um, so you're working with accountants. What's the best story of of how you've, helps an accountant then? Yes, yeah, so obviously the, the accountant that we mentioned there is, is a great example. So they got their first Pulse report uh, after the first one decided, you know, th this is great. They uploaded 10 of their clients. Um, the client, well, one of their, their key clients they talk to, they call it a date night. Um, but effectively, they have like a mini board meeting where the company all gets together. They have their Pulse report and they sort of meet online. But they've created a bit of a, a community, in effect, between the business and the accountant where, as I said, each month they're all on the same page. They're supported each other. Um, and, and I think what, what they've started to really understand is the kind of next level of things that are going on across the business, which, one, really enhances the relationship between the accountant and that business. but I think where you're all looking at the same thing, it just has that bit of confidence about what's going on. So th th this accountant for us is, is a great advocate. They're a great support. And every time they do a review service with a customer, you know, they'll be adding clients in. So we, we, we don't necessarily talk to them that much, but they can add the clients when they want. They've got their own insights and, and, and a, a massive advocate for us, which is fantastic and exactly how we'd want people to be using it. No, it sounds absolutely superb. Um, 
so you're obviously talking to accountants and bookkeepers a lot. What what sort of things do you see them struggling with at the moment? Yeah, I think that the two things we see certainly when talking about Pulse, firstly, is time. Everybody wants a bit of their accountant or bookkeeper's time. Um, and of course, what they're trying to be is that trusted source in the middle. Um, so, you know, I think as there's more pressures or demands, whether it's on interest rate rises or, you know, cost of living, et cetera, where there's more demand on an accountant or bookkeeper, time is definitely a, as of the essence. And secondly, is I think that, that there's a lot of choice for lots of things out there for accountants and bookkeepers. And sometimes it's just how do you find the right thing that's right for you and for your client? And not everything suits everybody, I guess, dependent on your sector, your industry, et cetera. So I think people are starting to perhaps try and find niches of areas or sectors or certain things that they want to focus and concentrate on. But of course, there comes the challenge of finding the right thing that suits you and your clients as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, So oh, got, look at this. We've got Americans coming in as well now. Hello, Jeff. How are you? Good to good to catch up, sir. Um, So... Could Jeff have this? Uh, sadly, if he's not in the UK, we'd sell it to UK companies. Ah, moment. right, okay. But I'm sorry, Jeff. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. I'm just, I'm just sort of like thinking it. This, this, yeah, yeah. You know, why, why wouldn't you have it? No, it's absolutely superb. Um, so, um, you, you've, you've, you've got this. You, you're talking to a, a accountants and bookkeepers, and and tr do you do anything other than just give them the software? Do you help them come up with ideas to? get get more business through using your tool and stuff like that do you do you run workshops or webinars or anything to yeah, help so, people really understand what the numbers mean and and the best way to present it to the clients yeah absolutely so we we run a monthly webinar that uh, funny if we've just arranged the one for next month where we've got some partners so we we partner with for example a financial advisory firm or a business consultant and I guess one thing the Pulse Report does is bring other areas out where you might want to use some partners that you work with. So uh, we have uh, monthly webinars. Uh, we've got some case studies and examples of businesses that currently use the portal and the benefits that they've got. Um, and in the Pulse team here, two of them are AAT qualified accountants and bookkeepers. So they just understand the pressures and challenges and benefits that Pulse can bring. And they're happy to chat through all of those things and give examples of how to use it best practices um even you know what what does some of the data mean and and how can you work with that in order to support other people so absolutely more than happy to share these kind of stories and, and support as many people out there as we can yeah so so this this your package is similar to some of the other products on the market um but for free yeah, free. And, and I think the, the other difference we get is, is the automated report. Um, as we said, sometimes the, these tools are great. They're only as great as often as you use them. Yes. Now, because it's automated and lands, it, it will automatically prompt as a reminder all of the time. And, and as we said earlier, with time being precious, sometimes things go and, you know, you don't make that call because you're a bit busy. You don't contact that person when you wish you had done. So the, the, the automated bit is also really important as a feature for us yeah no I, I get that because the thing is i sign up for this new 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 shiny product that, that does reports and stuff like that and i got all this intention of printing out a report and going to see the client and then this happens and that happens da, 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 da. but with with polls your fingers on the pulse obviously that's where you Absolutely. got the name yeah, from yeah thanks um, for that i know so, linkedin so, by the way <laughs> so, so what happens is then um yeah i'm gonna make all my phone calls but something's happened and i can't all of my clients have had that report land in their inbox. Correct. Yep. Yep. Is, is Goes to their inbox. Yep. And the, the accountant logs into their portal um, down the left hand side is a list of all of their clients that they've added. And just one click. There's the report. Really, quick, really simple, really simple. Yeah. So I wonder if you could you, you could have some sort of automation or something that the accountant would send an email or something. Um, here's your i don't know whether you could you could actually pull data out of the report and just ping an email to um your your client hi you know in the last week you would have had your report i've noticed this this and this um there's loads of things that you could do is, is the api open 
uh, there's not an API to it at the minute. I'm sure there will be some tech that's out there that, that will enable you to do it. What, what we're trying to do, I guess, is is keep as pulse or sorry, keep pulse as simple as it can be because we want people to understand and use it. Um, and what we don't really want are you know, 25,000 different functions that are on there. So yeah. we, we want Pulse to be simple. We want it to add value. We want people to understand what's on there. Uh, hence the graphs as well. So it might be you open your Pulse report. You might not understand what debt creditor ratio is, but is the line going up or down on your graph? Well, if it's up, I need to ask what does that mean, et cetera, et cetera, from there. So if we can't API it, we hope that the, the, the dashboard is as simple as it can that it works two ways. One, for the accountant or bookkeeper to reach out. But secondly, where we started off with customers ringing their accountant and saying, so what does that mean? What do I need to do? What's the impact of that happening? So they're educating themselves a little bit about what are some of the areas of, of business that they need to concentrate on or focus on in order to grow? Or what's the impact of that over the next three, four, five years if we continue to run our business in that way? And that's that kind of two-way conversation bit that, that definitely adds value as we move on. No, oh, fantastic. I love that. Um, are you finding that some of your clients are ringing up to you? So, so your your accountant and bookkeeper clients, are they phoning you up and going, oh, I'm using it for this, this, and this, and it's doing this, and it's doing that? Are they sort of like, oh, my goodness, never even thought you would do that. Did you, you getting those stories come through yet? Yeah, everybody's sort of really quirky. We've got, as we said earlier, the kind of date night idea that people are doing. We've got the the kind of diarization, one of people ringing each month with their clients that come in. Um, I think somebody was planning to do a webinar next month with a load of their clients and talk about it as a service for everybody and share some of the stories. So, yeah, lo- lots of creative ideas that are out there. Probably we should try and steal some and use them for ourselves. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But, and that's the thing, isn't it? You, you, you you create a tool um, and, you know, sometimes you hang on a minute, you can use it for this and you can use it for that. And it starts, like you say, starts getting other people thinking about it. Um, and I guess if I was running a practice and I didn't have anything like that before, I'd start thinking of other things and other ways of doing it. I love the idea of a webinar. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a great way to really, really add value to your, your clients that are, you know, like you said earlier, struggling to run their business, not sure what what's working, what's not. Yeah, we, we, we're also keen to add more features and products to it. Um, you know, and, and so many of the accountants that or bookkeepers that use it now. So wouldn't it would be great if we could do this. It would be great if we could do that. And we can't, of course, do everything that everybody wants. But to get that kind of feedback, we know that people want to use it. We know the value that it adds. And, and you know, we, we've got two or three new product features planned. Uh, one of them being the lending uh, point later on next year. We've got a forecasting tool that's coming in. So it w- we'll continue to enhance the product and, uh, and add value to it, like we said, but keeping it simplistic enough for people to see the benefits in as well. Yeah, no, perfect. Uh, we've got Zoe in as well. Good morning. Oh, good afternoon, Zoe. Oh, How the devil are you? Um, so you're off to um, the um, the ICB. Yes. Um, so obviously you want you want them all to come over and have a chat with you. What, what are they going to get when they come and have a chat with you? Yes, yeah, so we've just received our ICB accreditation, uh, which was delightful and, and very, very positive. So if you're an ICB member, please log on to your website, the newsletter, and, and uh, read our latest review in there. But we'll be there doing demos. We'll be able to sign people up, show them the portal, which is generally one of the key things that people want to see. Uh, the usual goodies and swag, which uh, I was talking to Bev about yesterday, trying to promise her something nice when she come and sees us. So, um, yeah, we'll have we'll have some bits to give away, demos, and and of course, if anybody's got questions and some of our existing users, please come and see us and come and say hi. I'd be delighted to see you there. And it's always lovely. That, that's what I love about the exhibitions and the, and the and the conferences and stuff because you actually get to meet people for real you know you might have been working with them for a while but you actually get to see them in real life as well and then that, is that is that it for the conference season for this year no we've got uh account techs booked up for next year the digital digital accountancy show booked up for next year as i mentioned earlier with the uh innovation award that we just won we've got uh, another five awards which we're shortlisted for over the next couple of weeks we've got the product enhancement so the world is busy in pulse but very exciting over the next few weeks and months no it sounds, it sounds good um if i'm looking at my dashboard and i can see all of my clients does that start giving me some sort of benchmarking for my clients 
Currently, no. However, uh, one of the upcoming features, yes. <laughs> okay, cool. So, yeah, in, in due course, it will be, yes. Because that, that would be really, really helpful. It would really help me um, help my clients, wouldn't it? You know, they'd sort of like, oh, I can see that, you know, your butchers are doing this and your bakers are doing that and your candlestick makers are, you know, this this is what you should be doing. So, yeah, really, really helpful. Yeah, and uh, we'd like some of the resources on the, the, the Pulse portal to be a bit more, you know, here, here's some best practices of what some of the, the great companies are doing and perhaps learn from some of those and, you know, start to share and create some of these ideas that people are doing and, and growing businesses with because, you know, we're trying to create this community and bring people together to use it. So, yeah, the, the more data we've got, the more things and resources and guides and benefits we can add for people as well. Yeah, you say community. Have you got a Facebook group or something? Uh, we're not on Facebook. We're on Instagram, on LinkedIn. Uh, we share all of our uh, content on there. So please follow us. Drop me a line. We'll get you connected. Add some people in and, and certainly start to share the good news and journey that Pulse is on, which we'd be delighted to do. And and I'm, you you said about the lending portal coming on. Uh, before then, can I still get you to help finance one of my clients? Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So Nucleus, as we said, we've we've been around for twelve years and and will continue to be around ongoing, helping lots and lots of businesses. So yeah, absolutely. If if today brings out the Nucleus side of the conversation, uh, by all means, please get in touch and we'd be happy to try and help any customers out there that have any lending needs. Yeah, because because borrowing money at the moment, I, I my my daughter's just uh, got herself a mortgage, um, but there was a few hoops she had to jump through, and and she's an existing borrower, um, and you know they're just tightening up. So I, I perished the thought of what it must be like trying to get a few quid to, you know, buy a new van or a bit of plant or something for a business. Yeah, it, it it's difficult, and and it was these sorts of things that helped the creation of Pulse because we you know we we knew many businesses over the years where they've tried to come to us for lending, and it's difficult to get the data that you need. It's difficult to understand it, to pull it together. Not just you know with Nucleus, but I guess any lender that's out there. And and as we've mentioned today, the economic pressures, the interest rates. I don't think it's going to get any easier anytime soon. Um, so ultimately, that that was one of the reasons that that Pulse was born and kind of comes out to to try and solve some of those issues that we've got. But I agree, it, it's difficult, really, really difficult for businesses out there at the minute. So anything we can do to help, or anybody can do to help, I think would be greatly welcomed. Yeah. Uh, any any tips for um, borrowing money at the moment? <laughs> Operate your business in the best way possible. I mean, we 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 see lots of people where. Uh, you know, if we ask them, tell me about your business numerically, a lot of people look at you with a blank face and say, I hope next month is a good month. So have a plan. You know, it, it's tough, but stick to the plan. Get support where you need it off us or other people who can add value to your business. Don't be afraid to ask for help um, and be open and honest, I think, in your conversations. We know sometimes it's a struggle. And, and people try and hide some of these things, but sometimes honesty is the best policy and, and therefore we can fairly evaluate where you are. And, and I'm sure any lender would do the same thing. Yeah. Okay. So um, if I, I do want this on my system, do I do it myself or do I speak to my accountant and get my accountant to do it? What's the best way, James? You can do it either way. We would be more than happy to do a demonstration with anybody that's interested. You can visit the website. You can visit us via our LinkedIn page. I said earlier, signing up is really quick, really simple. Fill in your company details. We'll send you a link to connect to your accountancy package and your banking package, and that's it. You're up and running. Insights will start to. But if you would prefer a demo to chat through it all, please get in touch. We or the team would be delighted to take you through that and get you up and running as quickly as possible. No, that's absolutely superb. Right, what questions haven't I asked you today? That you, that you, you is there anything you need to get off your chest, James? Oh, I was trying to think what the the list was you sent me. What did I want to be when I was younger? That's, oh, that's, that's the last. Really that's the, that's the last question. That's <laughs> we'll the last question. I just we'll wondered say, if there was anything else. Uh, no, well, I mean, just uh, well. Firstly, thanks for your help with LinkedIn uh, a few weeks ago. That's been very helpful. So, if, if you're on here and haven't used Ashley to look at your LinkedIn profile, it was very helpful for us, and we've definitely got lots of traffic and interest coming our way. Um, any other questions? Crikey. No, I think we're just, just delighted to be on to share the journey that we've been on. We're really, really pleased with where we are so far. That there's hopefully people 
listening and watching this show that have helped us on our journey. And, and we thank everybody for that as well. But we're really excited what the next few months and, and years bring for us. So thanks, everybody, so far. And keep your ears peeled. We're, we're on a good journey here. No, it's, 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 it's exciting times. I, I love I love uh, I love new companies. Uh, right. So I've got one more question for you, which you've already given away. Uh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but before then, I'm just going to go to next week because I've got Simon Lofts coming in from Nook. I don't, know, I don't know whether they're competition or whether it's a different thing, but uh, I don't, look, these just happen. So uh, Simon's coming in to have a chat about what they do. So that'll be interesting to to see what he's got to say next week. Looks like he he's looks been far a, smarter in my picture. Well, it looks like he's been to a <laughs> wedding, doesn't it? <laughs> he's showing um, off now. <laughs> anyway, James, um, very last question I ask all of my guests on this show is when you were at school, at primary school, with your little shorts on, running around the playground, um, what did you want to be when you left school? Well, I don't know if the, the clue is in the shorts and T-shirt running around, but I actually wanted to be a PE teacher. Um, I've, I've always liked sports, always been a part of sports. In fact, I'm training to run the Brighton Marathon next year oh, wow. uh, for prostate cancer. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. Maybe push me around as I get there. Uh, but yeah, I wanted, wanted to be a PE teacher. Um, and I think that's what one of my children also wants to be as well. So maybe it runs in the family. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, you, um, no, nothing to do with um, raising anyone's pulse, but you're now working for pulse, so may, maybe maybe you got there in a roundabout way. You're too way, good. But, uh, you're too yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> um, good luck with your marathon. Uh, thanks Thank ever you. so much for coming on the show. Thank you to everybody for all your lovely comments. Um, and uh, I will be back next week, like I say, with Young Simon. So thanks ever so much. Cheerio, James. Thanks so much indeed. Cheers, everyone. Bye bye. We go another podcast in the bag. I've been Ashley Leeds. You've been wonderful. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to hear more, then please subscribe and I will see you again another day. You can find me on LinkedIn if you want to catch up. If you fancy being a guest on one of my shows, I do live shows on LinkedIn twice a week, but I also plan to do some real podcasts uh, where we just do audio and probably record it to go on the YouTube channel. And we can talk about absolutely anything in those. So whatever you want to do, get in touch. And thank you for listening. You get out what you put in. Ever gonna lose, never gonna win. As long as you're happy, you're always gonna grin. You get out.